I think of private school, I think of opportunities. I think of a rigorous schedule. I think of achieving dreams. I think of a uniform. <laughs> I think of stronger friendships. I think of awesome teachers. I think of more classes you get to take. I think of big dreams. I think of achieving those dreams. Georgia Goal was the first student scholarship organization, or SSO, that was created to implement the Georgia tuition tax credit law back in 2008. We're one of 12 states nationwide that have this type of program in place. It is the nation's fastest growing type of parental choice in education. It enables taxpayers in Georgia to invest money to be used for nothing but providing scholarships for students, K through 12 students in Georgia, to attend the private schools of their parents' choice. The phenomenal thing is it's allowing Georgia taxpayers to become part of the solution, a vital part of the solution to something that we all know is a challenge in our state and in our nation. Parents are desperate for options. If they know that their child is not thriving in their assigned public school, and they want something better, but they have limited funds and can't afford anything better, this is their ticket. This is the light at the end of the tunnel for them. This changes lives, changes families, and is providing tremendous relief and empowering families in Georgia. For Arete, the, the students that we serve, the age groups, of course, are from four-year-old kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. We're predominantly in the lower grades. We do have some of the upper grades, but it's smaller numbers. But interestingly, all of the, the seniors that we've had in the program have graduated 100%. And all of them have entered college or the military. We go out and raise the money ourselves. And so most of it is from corporations, a handful of them, a little bit more than 10 that give us the money to scholarship our students. We do have some individual donors. And the reason they give is they find out about the work we're doing. To participate in our program, you do have to make an application uh, to the Department of Revenue. You can contact us directly or any scholarship organization you want to work with and they can get you the form. You can fill it out online now as well and you submit that to the Department of Revenue that you want to give. You put the amount you want to give in the application and on that form you'll name the scholarship organization you want to give to and then once you are approved you can just take the letter that you get from the Department of Revenue and the amount you want to give and write a check and submit it to that organization. The organization will give you a receipt for filing on your taxes. And when you file your taxes, uh, you get a dollar for dollar credit for what you give, up to the max that you're allowed to give. A lot of folks know this saying, but a rising tide floats all boats. So we're not trying to be acrimonious or create a competition directly with public schools, but we know that when we get these kids in the program and they graduate, we've seen in other states that it improves the performance across all educational spheres. The scholarship program made possible as a result of the Georgia's tuition tax credit law has been a phenomenal, game-changing opportunity for Georgians. People throughout the state have finally have hope that their child can aim as high as their potential allows. Parents can seek environments where there's a better learning opportunity, there's more discipline, there's more structure, there's incentive to do the best their child can do. Parents know they can do better for their children. They know their children can aim higher. And when they've got that heart's desire and they see an opportunity to make it happen, because all that was missing was the dollars before, that is a win. That's a win for Georgia. That's a win for these families. That's a win for future citizens that are going to give back and invest in our community, become tax-paying citizens themselves instead of potential dropouts. It's just an absolute phenomenal home run and I am grateful to Georgia's legislature and Georgia's governors for supporting the program.